one more day of summer light conditions and then we'll get at least a little bit of a break it's looking like satellite shot shows a lot of high clouds coming across from mexico and then also a lot of lower level clouds you can just make out coming up from the gulf of mexico that's going to help uh, prime our atmospheres for some rain shower activity tomorrow for the today we're not looking for any rain really at all with uh, temperatures close to 80 degrees at the bus stops this morning this afternoon uh, just under 90 degrees with plenty of sunshine expected throughout the day out in the tropics a lot going on we have tropical storm uh, patty that formed way out by the azores way out in the atlantic and uh will continue probably to fall apart over the next day or so. This area of the Hurricane Center is going to keep an eye on for a 20% chance of developing. And this is the next big thing, shall we say. That is now what uh, the Hurricane Center is calling potential tropical cyclone 18. That doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. Uh, but it is expected to become a tropical storm later today. And then a Category 1 hurricane before reaching the Gulf of Mexico. And then before the end of the week or towards the end of the week, possibly making landfall. Big area for the cone of uncertainty, though, by that time. We're not looking for it to head in our direction. It'll probably take a little quick turn more for towards the north. It'll be probably more for Louisiana and Florida to, wor to worry about. When it uh, does become named, it'll be given the name of Raphael. So I'll look for that probably later today. For us, not much in the rain buckets for the day today, but tomorrow morning about this time, we'll see the cold front coming on through. Some scattered showers expected with it. And then drier air right behind it will provide some cooler conditions for tomorrow. And then it'll back up as a warm front. And then that'll moderate things for Thursday. So it's just going to be a brief cool down today. Anything but that, though. Lots of sunshine, 89 degrees at noon. Same thing at 3 o'clock. And then cooling off a little bit by 6 o'clock. Our highs today, we're going to be pushing into the mid-90s once again. Out west, close to 90 degrees for the eastern third of the valley. Winds 25 to 30 miles per hour. Gusting higher, especially along the coast. Cameron and Willisey County, we do have a wind advisory in effect for the day today due to the gusty wind and conditions. Uh, dangerous rip currents for the day today see six to nine feet. Water will be pushing up to the dunes probably, especially around high tide tonight. So on the hot and windy side for the day today, about a 50% chance of rain with that cold front tomorrow. We'll be doing good to get up to around 80 degrees for a high. And then we kind of sit in the 80s, up mid to upper 80s for the most part for the rest of the week. So that kind of gets us at least closer to normal. Our normal valley average high right now is more like 83, 84 degrees. So, you know, we're going to at least get a good drop for a day and then get us closer to normal the rest of the week.